All right, hi everybody. So how does this flashlight effect work? We're going to use parenting. Parenting means we can make objects work together. So in this example, I have the blue cube. The blue cube will be the camera and the player. The yellow sphere will be the spotlight. And the red cube will be the spotlight target. So we need to make all these three objects work together because when the player camera moves, we need to move the spotlight and we need to move the spotlight target where the spotlight is looking at because right now I can move the player and nothing else is moving. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the player camera a parent of this spotlight. So the spotlight will be a child of the camera player. So instead of adding these three things to the scene independently, I'm going to comment out the scene add spotlight and I'm going to add the spotlight as a child of the camera player. And when I move the camera player, the spotlight will move with the camera player. Now I need to make the target move with the camera player and the spotlight. So I'm going to make the target a child of the camera player. So I'm going to comment out the scene add light target and I'm going to add the light target as a child of the camera player. And now when I move the camera player, the spotlight and the target move with the camera player. So the spotlight will always be pointing in the direction of the camera player. And I can adjust where that target is by using the position set of that light target. So if I want the target further ahead relative to the camera, then the target will be farther ahead than the camera. So that's how this is going to work. We're going to make the light target and the spotlight children of the camera player object. So let's start coding our flashlight effect. I am using the key controls from the pointer lock controls example. The link for the pointer lock controls example is in the description below. So I'm just importing it using the code from that example, making my scene. For my camera, I am setting its position and adding the camera to the scene. I'm making a new pointer controls and passing the camera to the pointer controls. So the camera position and the player position will be the same. So here I'm creating a new three spotlight and I'm passing in several arguments. The first argument is the color. The second argument is the intensity. So the higher the number, the brighter the light. The third number is the distance. So how far do you want that light to last? The fourth argument is the angle of light from the spotlight. So a higher number means the spotlight is wider and a lower number means the spotlight is a smaller cone. The fifth argument is the penumbra. The default is zero. And the last argument is the decay. That's how much the light dims during the path of light. So the higher the number, the more it will decay. And the lower the number, the less it will decay. So you'll be able to see things farther along the path of light. Now I'm making the spotlight a child of the camera here. Okay, now I'm going to make the target position of the spotlight. By default, the target position is the origin, where x, y, and z are zero. So I'm making the spotlight target a child of the camera. And I'm setting that target property position z value to minus 3. So that's slightly farther ahead than the player position. If you want it farther ahead, you can make it a different number. And you can see that it kind of raises up the spotlight. And if you put it equal with the player, then you can't see it at all. So you have to play with this number to give you an effect that you want. And I'm making a light switch so the player can turn the flashlight off and on. By default, I'm setting it on, so flashlight is true. And in the pointer lock key controls, I'm adding a new key control. So when the F key is pressed, so if flashlight is true, then I'm going to set it to false and turn off the spotlight intensity. I'm going to set it to zero. If flashlight is false, then it's going to change flashlight to true. And it's going to turn the spotlight intensity to one, which means the spotlight will be on. And that's all there is to it.